Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I just want to show y'all my new desk that I bought. This is from Ikea. I got it on sometime last week. So, I just want to show y'all how it looks and um, whatever I have inside. This is the, let me get up close. This is how it looks, like an overview. Don't mind the floor. Uh, the tile is breaking or whatever, lifting, and then there's like stickers stuck on the floor. I couldn't take them off. But anyways, so this is how it looks from like far back. This is what my desk looks like. And then when you get up close, I'm going to tell you the name of the desk. I'll leave it. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description box. Because I can't find the booklet because the booklet had the name but I'll leave a link in the district in the description box so this is the top of it it didn't come with this I put this on here this is the contact paper or shelf lining from Walmart you could uh, wait no I got it at Lowe's but you could yeah you could get it at I've seen it at Walmart too but I got this one at Lowe's and this is the marble. I put it on here because the top, the tabletop was white and I didn't want it to get messed up with the paint or anything I use. So I always uh, do shelf lining on my tabletops. That way they won't get ugly or the acetone won't eat through the white paint or whatever. So on the top of my desk I have a bunch of... Um, this right here is Moira stamping polish, foil polishes, and then I have some Valentino gel polishes, and then on this one right here I have clear jelly stamper stamping polishes. I like to have these at hand because when I do make videos, I do have stamping polishes and the foil polishes like right next to me. And then you move this way, you have, let me zoom out. Okay, so right here I have my Glamour Liz hand. And my Archon mount. And then uh, my ring light. My husband attached my ring light up there. With a screw and then like some chains. And I love it because it's not in the way. It's like above. And then um, I have my Glamour Liz hand right here. For when I make videos. By the way, she did come out with posable hands. This is what my Glamour Liz hand looks like. She does have posable hands. This is not a posable one. This is just like the first one. The regular ones. But she does have posable hands. And they are... She just put them on their website last night. And the um, full painted like this come is for like $250. The unpainted is $220. And then they have the half hands. Like this one. This is an, a Glamour Liz hand too. This is unpainted too. This is the half hand. And um, she has these and they're posable as well for 150 for the painted and then the unpainted like this is 120 but the posable ones and this is not posable so this one is a half unpainted this is $90 she also has them for $90 unpainted and they're not posable so the unpainted looks just as good as the painted one so if you're in the market for a new posable, a uh, new hand, silicone hand, practice hand, go ahead and check out Glamour Liz. I'll also leave them in the description box. She also has a whole bunch of other ones. She has the full size unpainted for nine, uh, one eighty, the full size painted for two fifteen, the half unpainted ninety, and then the half painted one thirty five. So there, she has a variety you could choose from, and they're. The, <clears throat> the unpainted ones are affordable, $90 for the half one, so check them out.
So I have that right there. And then you come this way, I have my brushes. I have all the brushes that I use, more right there. And then I have this little thing right here. I got this at the Goodwill, it was like $2. And I just have my plate cleaner. Sorry about that. I have my stamping plate cleaner from Clear Jelly Stamper. Non acetone polish remover. I have acetone polish, uh, acetone, pure acetone, and alcohol. And then I have cuticle oils on there. And then I have my e file that is a good e file. I'm gonna do a review video on that, but I just wanted to test it out for a while. And so far, so good. I love it. And then I have my LED lamp. And then on the Y, I do have my swatch sticks. And by the way, I got um, that stuff from Home Depot. I'll try to link them in the description box just in case y'all want to do this. Instead of having it like on the side or whatever, you can just put it over you. And yeah, it'll be uh, way better. So we come down here. This is to the right. And we have two drawers. My other desk didn't have two drawers, it just had one long one. So in the first one, I have... All these are practice top coats right here. These are all practice top coats and then, or like, top coats I'll use to like for videos when I'm not doing my own nails. And then on this side I have... Files and buffers and they're brand new. And I got these little acrylic bins from Walmart. And then I, in this box right here, I have the tips for my Glamour Liz hands. I already have them all sorted out so that way I know where, 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 where which one is for which finger. And then in this acrylic right here, I have my top coats that I use on myself. Let me turn this way. Um, from here is top coats and then all these right here are foil polishes and then I have these little the shape the v-shape cutters and then some other randoms these right here are glow pigments and then on the bottom one nippers file uh, nippers nail clippers and cuticle pushers and then in this little plastic thing I have my sanding bands and then you can remove this little drawer and it came with the desk and then I have uh, nail tips and then these are the tips I use on myself and then I have swatching sticks black and neutral and clear and then I have more tips and then these are for when I do stamping those are from Aliexpress and then these are from Clear Jelly Stamper. And then these are the long, um, the extremely long nail tips for my practice hand. I know it looks like if it's, it's all messy, but it's not. I promise you. It's like, what is it? Organized chaos. We're on the left side. This is a long one. I open this one and... Let me see if I can put the flashlight. Here I have way back there on that side is my brush cleaner in that clear bin. And then in this, all the clear acrylic bins that you see in here are from Walmart as well. And in this one right here, I have all my liquids and my monomers, dappin' dishes, and then my acrylic. All my brushes that I use for my nails. And then down there I have used buffers because I use those for when I do practice on my practice hands. And then I have face masks, gloves, and then here's where I have my other silicone hands. dust collector is over here on the side I'm not gonna cut a hole in this desk because I just want to leave it as it is and I'm just gonna use it as a top anyways I I only use it on myself 
or I'll just probably take it to my studio and I'll just keep it over there. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check the description box. I'll leave a link to everything I can I can think of. I'm going to leave a link to the ring light as well. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was $100. But I'll leave a link to that in the description box. I'll also leave a link to the e-file, the desk, and everything I used for my... To hang the ring light. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you can get notified of my next video. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.